welcome back to Story Safari. Today we're going to read a story about Cheetah's adventures. Cheetah loves this story about himself, so he's joining us. This story is called How Cheetah Got His Tears by Avril van der Merwe. That's me. And the beautiful pictures were done by a special artist called Heidi Kate Grief. If you already have your own book, you can follow in your book while I read. Or if you prefer, you can share my book with me. On a breezy day, Cheetah loved to stalk through the long African grass. On a sunny day, Cheetah loved to sit high on a rock, watching over the plains of Africa. On a rainy day, Cheetah loved to crouch under the branches of a leafy tree. But on any kind of day, Cheetah loved to run. Most of all, he loved to run. Every day Cheetah practiced his running. Every day he ran faster and faster until at last he was sure he could run faster than any other animal on earth. I am the fastest in the world, he boasted, sitting on top of his favorite rock and puffing out his chest. I am the king of runners. Lion growled. I am the king of the beasts. You are not the king of anything. You don't even know how to roar. Elephant trumpeted in agreement. I am much bigger than you. I am the biggest of all. You are too skinny to be king, Cheetah. Rhinoceros snorted. I'll poke you with my horn and toss you into a thorn bush, Cheetah. Then we'll see who's king. Giraffe plucked a leaf from the top of the thorn tree and munched it thoughtfully. I have the longest legs, she said. I'm sure I must be the fastest. From his perch on a branch in the tree, Monkey chuckled. Ha, Cheetah, you can't even scamper up a tree like me. What kind of king is that? Antelope was staying far away as she could from Lion and Cheetah. From her hiding place behind Elephant, she whispered, Yes, Cheetah, I can also run very fast and I can jump very high, but I don't go around calling myself king. At this, Lion and Cheetah turned to stare hard at Antelope. She huddled closer to Elephant for protection. Cheetah sneered. Hey, Lion, let's both chase Antelope. The one who runs fastest and catches her first will be the winner. No, you don't, rumbled Elephant, standing protectively over Antelope. He swung his trunk at Cheetah. Nobody is chasing Antelope today. See, Cheetah, laughed Hyena. You are no king. I'll prove it, whined Cheetah. Race me and I'll prove it. The other animals looked at each other. Cheetah was fast, very fast. They watched him run every day. But before they could say anything, Cheetah quickly added, I'll race you from this rock to the fever tree. Hoover bird can start us off. The animals looked towards the fever tree. It did not seem too far away. Maybe one of them would be able to beat Cheetah after all. Without saying another word, the animals lined up for the race. First Cheetah, then Lion, then Elephant, and then Rhinoceros. Last to line up were Giraffe, Antelope, and Monkey, standing closely together and as far away as they could get from Cheetah and Lion. Whoop! called Hoopoo Bird. Whoop! In a swirl of dust, the animals set off at top speed. Lion rushed along using his powerful muscles and sharp claws. Elephant's huge legs thumped so hard they made the ground shake like an earthquake. Rhinoceros snorted with effort, her little tail quivering from side to side as his short legs hurried as fast as they could. Giraffe set off at an easy run, her long neck swaying in time with her long legs. 
Antelope raced along, leaping gracefully into the air as she went. Monkey scampered on all fours, chattering encouragement to himself as he ran. Hyena did not run at all, but rolled around in the dust, laughing at the sight of the animals trying to outrun Cheetah. He did not care who was king. Just look at them trying so hard, he laughed. From the moment that Hoopoe Bird called Go, it was Cheetah who leapt ahead of the others in an instant, and he was already waiting, panting at the fever tree, when one by one they skidded to a stop there in a cloud of dust. Ha ha, he jeered, I told you, I'm the fastest runner of all. I'm the king of running. I can even run faster than the wind. The other animals watched him in sulky silence, trying to think of something they, that would stop Cheetah's noisy boasting. A sudden gust of wind rattled the leaves of the tree above their heads. Race me then, Cheetah, cried the wind. Race me if you can. Don't be silly, snarled Cheetah. How can I race you? I can't even see you. Nobody can see you, wind. And if we can't see you, how can we tell who wins? Are you afraid? mocked wind. Are you a scaredy cat? Cheetah hissed and spat. I'm no scaredy cat. I am the king of runners. Well then, taunted the wind, race me if you can. Go on, Cheetah, called the other animals, run and race the wind. Cheetah swished his tail in anger. If he refused the wind's challenge, everyone would laugh at him for being a scaredy cat. Then he had an idea. He knew that wind could not change direction as quickly as he could. Usually wind blew in one direction for a long time before it turned around and came back again. He would trick wind into a race that wind could not win. All right, he snarled. I will race you wind. I will race you to the thorn tree and back again. I'll start you off, offered Elephant. Cheetah gazed back to the thorn tree near the rock where the animals had begun their first race. I'm ready, he said. I'm ready to race the wind and win. On your marks, bellowed Elephant. Get set. Cheetah waited. Elephant raised his trunk and trumpeted so loudly that Cheetah was startled and shot off like an arrow toward the thorn tree. Go, Cheetah, shouted the animals. Run faster than the wind. The wind blew. The wind howled. The wind roared. Wind blew and howled and roared so hard that the trees bent low and the branches swayed. Look, cried the animals, look, wind has reached the thorn tree before Cheetah. Wind is winning. The race isn't over yet, panted Cheetah. We have to turn around and go back again. Cheetah skidded all the way around the thorn tree and set off at top speed back toward the fever tree. Still wind blew. It blew so hard that Cheetah's small ears were blown flat against his head. It blew so hard that Cheetah's tail was blown straight out behind him like a spear. It blew so hard that it stung Cheetah's eyes until tears started pouring down his cheeks and he could no longer see where he was going. Cheetah shook his head to shake the tears away, but still they kept streaming down. He turned this way and that to try to get the wind out of his eyes, but still his eyes stung and his tears ran. Cheetah 
turned around so many times that he became dizzy and he forgot which direction he was facing. Slower and slower he ran as he fought against the wind until he stopped altogether. His tongue was hanging out and his head drooping and still the tears ran down his face. Suddenly, wind stopped and everything went quiet. Then a gentle breeze brushed past Cheetah, ruffling his ears as it whispered through the leaves of the trees. Wind had turned around and come back. Slowly, Cheetah lifted his head to see where he was. He looked backwards and saw the thorn tree halfway behind him. He looked forwards and saw the fever tree halfway in front of him. He looked up and saw the wind playing with the leaves of the trees. He knew that wind had won the race. He looked at the other animals, expecting them to laugh at him, but they didn't. Lion padded softly over and sat in front of Cheetah. Elephant lumbered closer and stood next to Lion. Rhinoceros shuffled towards him and stopped alongside Elephant. Giraffe walked over and stood beside Rhinoceros, bending her long neck down toward Cheetah. Antelope hesitated, then pranced closer, edging herself between Elephant and Rhinoceros. In a skip and a jump, Monkey landed on Elephant's back and scurried to sit between Elephant's ears. Even Hyena slunk closer, but not too close. They all looked at Cheetah, feeling sorry for him, because the tears still ran down his face. Cheetah, Lion grunted softly, you are very fast. You can run from the thorn tree to the fever tree faster than all of us. But you cannot run very far or for very long. And you cannot run faster than the wind. I am sorry, but you are not king. Lion reached over and patted Cheetah on the cheek with his paw. Elephant stretched out his trunk and blew softly across Cheetah's back. Rhinoceros huffed and stirred up the dust with his front legs. Giraffe leaned even further down and flicked Cheetah's ears with her tongue. Antelope battered her long eyelashes at Cheetah from where she stood. Monkey chattered gently at Cheetah from his perch on Elephant's neck. But we do admire you, Cheetah, and we, we really do. You are handsome and fit and lean and fast, so very fast, even if you cannot climb trees. Still, Cheetah's tears ran down his cheeks. They ran because his eyes still stung from the blowing of the wind. But most of all, they ran because the animals were being so kind to him when he did not deserve it. Thank you, he said. Thank all of you, even you, Antelope. Antelope shrank back between elephant and rhinoceros. She would rather not have any attention drawn to her. I will never forget this day, said Cheetah. And to prove that he has not forgotten, his tears have run down his cheeks from that day to this and have never stopped. The end. Do you know what Cheetah's tears are? They are the stripes that run down his face on each side of his nose. If you would learn to, like to learn a song about Cheetah, then watch the next video. I'll see you there.